Hi guys, it's Sherry Vegas and in this video today I'm going to be going over some of the main reasons to why your textured art is cracking. So this is a question that I'm getting asked constantly and that is mostly due to the fact that textured art is becoming so popular and one of the biggest issues people are having with is after they finish their artwork, their textured paste, once it's dried, is starting to crack. And of course you don't want that if you're spending all of that time in making your artwork. The last thing you want is for it to start to break away, to crack and not be perfect. So I'm gonna go over a few of the main common reasons to why this is happening. So the first one is gonna be obvious, but that of course is the texture paste that you are using. So different artists will have different recipes for this and will do different things. For me personally, I like to do a ratio where it's like around 50 to 60% of a fine crack spackle from the hardware store. And it does come down to, you wanna look for one that says it doesn't crack and the most expensive is generally the best, even though it's probably not what you wanna hear. I've tried the really cheap ones from the hardware store and I've tried the most expensive and the most expensive I found was a lot better. And I've tried all different brands. So you wanna use a spackle and then I like to mix that in with a art medium. So you can either use a modeling paste or a textured paste and there are that many different brands out there. So I'd recommend mixing up a few different ratios, different brands brands and seeing what works best for you. Another thing that can cause a lot of cracks in your pieces is the canvas that you were using. I have this piece here and I was really happy when it finished. It dried perfectly fine. I had no cracks, but because it is a cheap canvas, which is just like that, it's just a stretch canvas. What you do have an issue with, which has now caused it to crack, is the fact that this has movement it's got too much flex in it, which means that this is gonna get moved up and down. And because I didn't just hang it up straight away, I've moved it around my studio space. I haven't been too particular careful with it. It's now cracked because it's moving back and forth. And because this is all dry, there's no stretch in the texture paste. So because the canvas is moving, it's creating those cracks. So there are two things that you can do. You can either one, use an MDF or birch wood, wooden board, like you would in resin art and work on that. Or if you do wanna use stretch canvases because they are just a bit cheaper, you do need to do something to the back. So whether you put a really thin piece of MDF in the back just to stop that flex, or sometimes people will mix up a bit of resin, pour that in because once the resin sets, it will be nice and hard and there won't be any flex. So those are your two options or you can do like some sort of mounted frame at the back. But if you are using a canvas that's gonna have a lot of flex to it because it is a stretch canvas, you're most likely over time, if you do move your piece, you're going to get cracks because your texture paste has no stretch. And if it just keeps getting bumped like that, keeps getting moved, it's gonna keep cracking. So picking the right canvas will make a really big difference. If you're doing a textured artwork like this one and you're finding it is cracking, it could be because you're doing your layers too soon. So with this one, I do multiple layers where I paint them over the top again and again to build up that volume and to create that smoothness. If you do not wait for each layer to set properly in between, you're going to be creating an issue where you might get too much moisture in an area and it can cause it to crack. So you definitely wanna wait for the first layer you do to fully harden and dry before you do start doing your next layers, which can take you know, a few hours or even longer depending on where you are in the world, but you do need to have patience with this because if you add your next layer too soon, you're making it too thick in areas and that can cause issues with cracking. So I find that a lot of people do this and it's a really easy mistake to make and that is changing the temperature of your room, trying to accelerate the setting process of your pace. We do not wanna have any big fluctuations and change of the temperature. Texture paste, like us, likes it very comfortable around, you know, that 24 degree mark. And if you are working with it inside and then you go to put it outside so it can dry faster, especially say where I am, where it's very hot right now, you are going to be having too much of a temperature spike and you're going to have issues and it can cause your paste to crack. So wherever you do your artwork, 
if it's in a comfortable you know temperature that's where you want to leave it we don't want to do anything like using hair dryers or putting it in the sun to speed up this setting process we want it to set at its normal rate as slow as possible because that will help prevent cracking from that big fluctuation in temperature and my last tip for why your texture paste are cracking and breaking off is you're working with it as it's starting to dry so depending on the pace that you're getting you'll find that you'll get anywhere from like say 15 minutes to half an hour depending on your mixture that you do of working time and as you kind of get down to that end of the working time when it starts to dry it will start to become a bit more textured a bit more crumbly and if you keep trying to work with it in that time you're going to have issues where it will crack and start to dry as you're doing it so you definitely want to make sure that you move as fast as possible when you do work with textured paste because it's going to get more textured as it dries and that's going to cause more issues especially if you are doing pieces like this where you do want quite like big amounts quite smooth a finish to it you don't want to be working with it as it is getting more and more dry because then you'll do a piece and it will look great and then it will all end up cracking because the paste was overworked so my recommendation is either put your paste in a container with a lid on so only open it for to get your bits that you need and use it then make sure the lid keeps going back on we want to minimize the amount of air time it gets because obviously that's what's going to start making it set you can also put glad wrap if you are using a palette just put glad wrap over the top so that way you're only lifting it up scooping out what you need and going like that so you have as much time to work with it and it's not just sitting there drying while you're working with other parts of the artwork. So those are all really important tips when you are working with textured paste. And I hope you found this really informative. And if you put some of these into play and you find that they're really useful, please let me know, leave some comments down below. Or if you have any other tips or tricks that you like to use that will help prevent cracking, then definitely leave them in the comments below so other people can see them as well and we can help each other out. But I hope this video was really helpful and a bit informative and it helps a lot of people with their textured artwork. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.